Hello friends, let's balance one more net ionic equation. This equation is for the reaction between phosphorus and hydroxide ion to form phosphine and hydrogen phosphate ion. This redox reaction is a special kind of reaction because in this reaction the same substance undergoes reduction as well as oxidation simultaneously. So this kind of redox reaction is termed as disproportionation reaction. This reaction we are going to balance now by oxidation number method. Let's work out that method now. First of all, we can assign the oxidation number for the phosphorus in three different species. Here in this reaction, phosphorus will undergo both the oxidation as well as reduction. So we need to calculate the oxidation number of phosphorus in these three different species. First of all, in this phosphorus at the left hand side, it is in the free state, therefore the oxidation number of phosphorus will be 0. The next one, the oxidation number of phosphorus in phosphine we need to calculate. Phosphorus we can assume as X, the oxidation number we can assume as X. Hydrogen atom, three hydrogen atoms are there. So, 3 times plus 1. Oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1. So, 3 times plus 1 that is equal to 0. Because phosphine is a neutral compound. So, in this uh, neutral compound the sum of the oxidation numbers of the sum of the oxidation numbers is equal to 0. So, x plus 3 times plus 1 is equal to 0. If we simplify, x plus 3 is equal to 0. That is, x is equal to minus 3. So, the oxidation number of phosphorus in phosphine is minus 3. The next oxidation number of phosphorus in Hydrogen phosphate ion we need to calculate. So in hydrogen phosphate ion we can calculate the oxidation number. Hydrogen oxidation number plus 1 plus phosphorus we can assume as X plus 2 oxygen atoms are there. Therefore 2 times minus 2 that is equal to minus 1 because this is a polyatomic ion. In the polyatomic ion, the sum of the oxidation numbers is equal to its charge. Now, if you simplify 1 plus x minus 4 is equal to minus 1, that is x minus 4. 3 is equal to minus 1. That is x is equal to 3 times minus 1 that is equal to plus 2. So the oxidation number of phosphorus in hydrogen phosphate is plus 2. The oxidation number of phosphorus in hydrogen phosphate is plus 2. So now we have calculated the oxidation numbers of phosphorus in these three different species. Now we can find out the decrease in oxidation number as well as increase in oxidation number. So first the decrease the, the phosphorus, phosphorus atom here what is the change takes place? The first change was from 0 the oxidation number changes from 0 to minus 3, 0 to minus 3. 
the next oxidation number the next change of phosphorus is the oxidation number changes from 0 to plus 2 0 to plus 2 so in the change that is 0 to minus 3 there is a decrease in oxidation number the oxidation number decreases the oxidation number decreases decreases in the case of 0 to minus 3 here the oxidation number decreases how many times it decreases plus 3 times the next change is the oxidation number changes from 0 to plus 2 so here increase in oxidation number takes place how many oxidation number increase that is plus 2 0 to plus 2 so the difference of increasing is plus 2 now using the increase in oxidation number as well as decrease in oxidation number we need to multiply the species at the right hand side of the equation accordingly using this plus 2 we need to multiply this pH 3 and using this 3 plus 3 we need to multiply this HPO2 minus ion that we can do it at the next page that is with this 2 we need to multiply this pH 3 so pH 3 we need to multiply by 2 times and HPO2 has to be multiplied by 3 times now when we check the phosphorus atom at the right hand side 2 plus 3 5 atoms are there but the left hand side only 4 atoms so this 4 in what way we can but the right hand side 5 the left hand side 4 so what we need to do that we need to multiply multiply by a fraction the fraction is the right hand side number divided by the left hand side number that is this p by 4 p4 has to be div, uh, multiplied by 5 divided by 4 now we can check the charges of the equation the charges we can check now charges the left hand side what's the charge p4 that is neutral there's no charge oh minus only it has a charge one negative charge minus one the right hand side ph3 it's a neutral compound there's no charge hydrogen phosphate only has a negative charge so here the charge is minus 3 so right hand side the charge is minus 3 but the left hand side the charge is minus 1 the charges are not equal and another information we need to remember this reaction is carried out in basic medium it is given that this reaction is carried out in basic medium so if the reaction takes place in basic medium in order to uh, make the charges equal we need to add hydroxide ion on the appropriate side in the case of acid medium if the reaction is take, uh, taken place in the acid medium uh, or acidic medium we need to add hydrogen ion on the appropriate side in the case of basic medium we need to add hydroxide ion we need to add hydroxide ion on the appropriate side hydroxide ion oh minus we need to add on the appropriate side 
now here the right hand side sorry the left hand side the charge is minus 1 so we need minus 2 then only the charge will become minus 3 at the left hand side so we need to add 2 OH minus ion on the left hand side so 2 OH minus ion I am writing on the left hand side plus 2 OH minus so 2 OH minus ions are added to the left hand side already 1 OH is there so this OH we can add together that is 3 OH minus so now the charges are equal but oxygen atom when we compare at the left hand side the total number of oxygen atoms are in 2 OH 2 OH minus number of oxygen atom is 1 another one OH minus that is here only one atom oxygen atom so total 3 oxygen atom at the left hand side that is 3 oxygen atom at the left hand side but the right hand side in hydrogen phosphide 3 times 2 six, hyd 6 oxygen atoms are present on the right hand side. So in order to make the oxygen atom equal on the left hand side what has to be done we need to add 3 moles of water on the left hand side 3 moles of water that I am adding on the left hand side 3 moles of water 3 moles of water are added on the left hand side now when we check this equation what's that the phosphorus coefficient is what the fraction but as per the rule the mole ratio must be in whole number so in order to make the fraction into whole number we need to multiply the whole equation by the denominator 4 so the whole equation is multiplied this whole equation is multiplied by the denominator 4 so that we can multiply at the next page we can multiply the next page 4 times 1 again we can check the previous 3 water 3 water is there this 3 water if you multiply by 4 times it will become 4 times 3 12 water so we need to add I am writing at the bottom that is 12 water Twelve, twelve water, twelve moles of water plus then five by four P four. If we multiply by four, it will become five P four. It becomes five P four the next this OH and 2 OH minus this together what will be that 3 OH this 3 OH if we multiply by 4 then what will what we will get that is 12 that is 12 OH minus ion then the left hand side what are the things left out water molecule we have written phosphorus then hydroxide ion we have written the right hand side 2 pH 3 has to be multiplied by 4 so 
8 times pH 3. This becomes 8 times pH 3. The next hydrogen phosphide 3 times need to be multiplied by 4. So, 12 times hydrogen phosphide. 12 times hydrogen phosphate ion. So now we have got the balance equation that is 5 moles of phosphorus reacts with 12 moles of hydroxide ion and 12 moles of water gives 8 moles of phosphine and 12 moles of hydrogen phosphate. This is a balance equation for this given reaction. Thank you so much for watching.